Let's not see when we're live anyway. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast. My fucking mic keeps really bad though. Oopsies. Okay. It's all right. This is episode two of the Goof Tree Podcast today, joined by another guest. Good friend, good cousin, just like uh, Juju from... He's special. Uh, <laughs> as I said before, special guest. But different kind of special guest. Um, this is Taven. Say hi, Taven. Howdy. That's Taven. <laughs> we don't have a topic once again for today, but that's okay. But... He's here for today, so I forced him to record with me and uh, do this podcast. So you bitches better, you bitches better be grateful. I fucked that up so bad. I scuffed that one up bad. It's all right. We can just cut this part out. Well, now I'm not gonna cut it out. <laughs> that gives us content. Otherwise, we're not gonna have any content for our fucking podcast. Content, shmonten, shmonten, content. So I told you, Taven, that. Oh fuck. Oh, brother, this okay. guy stinks. <laughs> this will be in the bloopers because I forgot to push play on the fucking music. James, you're going to edit this to make it fucking funny. You fucking suck. I was wondering why I felt so off. You <laughs> dumbass. And this is... Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> All right. So James one. is going to make that better. <laughs> That was awful. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell I'm not professional? Yeah. No, you can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's, what's been going on? What's been going on? Like? Not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> all we, can't, we can't say not a whole lot. We have to have something for it. Something's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Cayman. We're not going to talk about Cayman for the podcast. <laughs> Sorry, Cayman. Uh, you don't get a whole video to yourself. No. But not big enough. Yeah. Hmm. I can always talk about how why we're or the fact that we're very poor. Why do we have to talk about that? Because <laughs> it's entertainment. Okay. We, everyone gets to know about us. The fact food. that we only have ramen noodles to eat. <laughs> we only have ramen noodles to eat, but <laughs> the reason is because this mic right here. Mm-hmm. I spent all my money on that. <laughs> this camera right here, right there. Yep. Right there. All my money on that. The TV we're watching this on. Hmm. I got it at a garage sale. <laughs> That's gonna come out awful on the fire <laughs> recording, but whatever. Um, yeah, but the cool thing about being poor is you get to learn how to make really cool foods. We fucking make some bomb ass ramen. Uh, we had chili powder, a bunch of garbage. You know, like, bunch of garbage. Yeah, but the garbage makes a beautiful thing. You know, um, Ratatouille. Yeah. Hit. Movie from Disney. I, I in fact do know of Ratatouille. <laughs> the movie Ratatouille, from Disney. Ratatouille. The rat, Remy. Mm-hmm. He goes into a garbage, he pulls out food, yeah. and he makes it amazing, right? Right. Why can't we do that? We do do that. <laughs> well, we don't get out of a garbage. We could, if you really wanted to. That's a fucking video I do right there. <laughs> We're gonna get dumpster diving for meals. <laughs> How many disease can we contract the 24 hours challenge? We shouldn't invite like, Cayman to that one. No, Cayman would kill. Cayman does that anyway. <laughs> Fuck, man. I, I, did, I had this fucking. COVID! COVID. So fucking. That cases, was. That was cases random. are going up again. Have you yeah. noticed that? No. Well. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> sound. <laughs> but yeah, the cases are going up in. Um, COVID again because I don't know why, but, but I'm assuming it's because the mask mandate has been lifted again. Yeah. Now everyone's catching COVID again because it's evolving all the fucking time and now we're not wearing masks anymore and so everyone's gonna get sick again. Like, how do you feel about this? Um, bad. Right. You should feel bad, but, but like. I'm sorry. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, it's. I kind of like it. <laughs> not, not in the sense that people are dying and people are getting sick again, but like... Staying home. Well, that and also it's... We have to see people's faces again. <laughs> when, when they lifted the mask mandate, everyone was walking around without a mask and it just felt weird now. Yeah. It's weird because it's become the new norm to just have a mask on all the time. And now no one's wearing a mask and I just... It's super weird. It's such a change. I still wear them from Right. I, I still wear mine from time to time. Like, um... Uh, you're like the odd man out. 
Right, exactly. Because you're the only one wearing Because you're the only one wearing a mask now. Everyone's calling you, why are you wearing a mask? Why yeah. you, you're an idiot. The mask, the mandate's been lifted. And then I'm like, alright, fine, I'll stop doing it. And the next thing you know, they caught COVID. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're stuck here without a mask. Hmm. That's what this is for. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see it, but this is actually a mask. That's the show we care about COVID. Yep. That's the show we care about COVID. Not to... Uh, Shut it. <laughs> okay. Shut up, doggy. Um, moving on. <laughs> moving on. But man, school starting in a month. Is it? It is. Oh no, it, it ain't. Not for you. <laughs> and you tell me how it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. How. Well, we go to different schools entirely now because I never going to some that was smaller. Now I'm in the big school and it's different because it's gonna have a different set of rules. I like the smaller school, even if I don't like anybody there. Okay, right? Because. It's smaller, you don't have to deal with other people. It's less people to have to learn and deal with. Yeah. Now I'm, I don't know, I've been here for, which is weird. I moved to a bigger school with more people and somehow I've been here for two years now and I haven't made a friend. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess you, I made what could be considered a friend through um, Abe mm-hmm. and uh, other people like that. But like, I, I just started going up at the end of this year. It took me two years to start getting the ability to talk to anyone. Because there's a big transition switching to schools like that. Right, exactly. And going from a little hometown school to a big one like this. Right, and the weirder part is in Celeste, I already knew everybody. That's family. Yeah, everybody knows everybody. Though. Exactly, because it's so small and everyone that grew up with everybody is yeah. small hometown. Very Lincoln City, in. it's big and I don't know anyone. It's so weird, it's a trip. It's scary. Yeah, it is scary. I remember fucking moving here for the first time, my teacher was a weed. <laughs> I might be kidding. She, um... I walked in with a Demon Slayer hoodie. She's like, hey! Hey. <laughs> you, you watched that show, or did you just think it was cool? I'm like, no, I, I watched it. She's like, what's your favorite arc? <laughs> and I'm like, what's a... <laughs> Listen, I like, I like anime, but I don't, I'm not into the fucking, like, super nerdy shit. I don't know what an arc is. She's like, well, what's your favorite part of the show? And I'm like, the fight? <laughs> like, the fighting in it? I don't know, like... I don't... Which fight is your favorite in the show? Right, and I'm like, um... The one with the most cool stuff. <laughs> I'm like, I like the one with the spider person. That was a good one. Right, that was a cool with one. With Zenitsu? Uh, I don't remember the name, but... The dude who, like, abused... The, the actual horse... spider, or just... No, not the actual spider. The person who used the fucking, like, wires and webs yeah. and shit. Yeah, that dude. When he broke Tanjiro's sword? Yeah, 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 yeah that, that shit. Once I, if this actually takes off, this podcast thing I'm doing, I can get better, like, splitters so you can, we can both hit them. Right. Sure. But until then, you're stuck with this. I also need a better chair because this is squeaky as shit, <laughs> and my mic picks up on that very hard. But the gum, are you chewing on the gum already? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, that was there, so when you're done with your drink, you can have something else to, like... No, I've been drinking it with the gum in. Ow. It's very, very minty. Right, so that hurt. That's why I didn't. But well, you knock yourself out, man. Man, I wonder what sucks. What? Being poor. <laughs> We've been eating. <laughs> We're just talking about how good, great it is. How you can make fucking food from trash. Now, like, <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate doing this. It's so. terrible. Yeah. And we've always been poor, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. To be fair, though, we don't have it as bad as most people. True. So. I can still say grateful for that. Like, how far are we into this already? Wow, it's only been nine minutes. Yeah, we're not too far yeah. Well, since we're just now hitting the fucking ten minute barrier, that was a good chance to say hi to W. W. W, my sponsor. Um, you can see on the fucking top right of your screen right now. You can. And you can also see the discount code you can use on checkout to save yourself 10% off your order. <laughs> and that's a great thing, because why would you want to spend more money than you need to? Exactly. Unless you're stupid. So, you please. can't call the fans stupid. You're right, you're right, you're right. Unless you're not. Unless, unless you're smart a fucking idiot. People. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, do yourself a favor. Buy W and use my code. Save yourself some money. Save now. yourself some money on the. Now! <laughs> Buy yourself This is dumb. not a recommendation. <laughs> we are not asking anymore. No, the shit's good. It tastes good. It feels good. It if you want to use it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and 
It gives you all the caffeine that any other energy drink would give you without the crash and without the jitters. So, there it is again. Can confirm has been tested. He's tested it for the first time today, actually, and he can approve. And as you see, when Julian came over here, he wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah. <laughs> he kept talking about it. He likes it, and now I'm not shut up. I actually about love it. this flavor. Yeah, exactly. What was it? Uh, uh, I think that's Dragon Egg. Dragon Egg. That's right. It's Dragon Egg's a good one. It's uh, Dragon um, Fruit with uh, pink strawberry, uh, pink lemonade, not pink yeah. strawberry. But um, really good. I'm definitely They're, gonna have to get me some of these. I know. I'm gonna have to purchase. And use the code. Of course. And use the code, of, of course. course. Why wouldn't I? Right. Mm. What's another thing about it? That's right, they also have a wide variety of flavors and some new ones that just came out. I don't know what they are yet because I haven't checked, but I really should. <laughs> but... Should have done the research. Exactly. But they do have... A, uh, their most recent flavor that I'm aware of is Dub Sludge. I don't know what it is, but it's green and it looks slimy, and that's an interesting thing! That sounds good. I think it was green apple, or maybe it was a lemonade. I'm gonna definitely check that out. But, um, they also have uh, their most popular flavor, I think. It's either Dragonade or um, the other one I'm just about to talk about. But one of the two are the most popular, and the other one... I promise I don't. I could definitely see why this one's popular though. Right, this one's it's a, a good, good flavor. flavor. Yeah, it's sweet. It's got that little tiny bit of sourness that that lemonade brings, but it's, but that's the good part. Exactly. That's why people drink lemonade. Hmm. Yeah. We'll stop ranting to you about W. <laughs> Buy it, man. It's a good thing. Now, now, but we will find it. James. They could make a jump scare pop up. Taxes. Yeah. <laughs> scare them. Scare them. James is really good at what he does. I, I know. I've seen your video. Yeah. You get it. So, I'm sure he won't let me down with that one. <laughs> right, James? Right. Right? Wait, you know where you live, James. He knows where you live, James. I'll show him where you live, James. <laughs> I'm just threatening my editor. <laughs> you need to quit. Mm -hmm. He already works very hard on my videos too. Wanna when it comes to my videos, we that are like like a two-hour streams and shit. Yeah. He um we call sometimes while he's editing my videos and stuff, so we can like I can help him tell him what I think would be good, what right. wouldn't be, what he shouldn't, what should he shouldn't add. So you can get your live right. opinion in exactly, and. I noticed on my two hour ones, he cuts it down to just the highlights and stuff. He's not gonna do that with this one because it's a podcast. He's right. showing everything. But my other streams and stuff, it's like he'll edit down a two hour video yeah. down to like in between like 10 and uh, 30 minutes or 10 and 20 minutes. And it takes around four hours for that. Just just that. Yeah. So it's impressive work, honestly. Yeah. I, it's hard work. I should it's really, not easy. I should really give him a raise because I haven't paid him yet. But <laughs> I've never paid him once yet. That's the sad thing. Cut that part out. Cut shit. that part out. Yep. <laughs> James, cut that. <laughs> cut He's out. definitely gonna keep that in. <laughs> cut out. Those talking about not paying you. Yeah. Um. No. One of those. Is that pizza crust right there? I do. It's from Julian. <laughs> he never picked it up. He just I, left it there. Yeah. I just realized it's still there and. <laughs> You can use it like a tech deck. <laughs> so old and so crusty. It's... The crust has gone crusty, so now we can use it as a tech deck. I'll set up my own makeshift uh, ramp for it. What else happened today? We ordered sushi and we didn't have enough. <laughs> we did order sushi and it was really good sushi. It was good sushi, but we didn't have enough money. I still have the leftovers. Yeah, right. Over there. We had to scavenge around for quarters in my room. <laughs> and now they're everywhere on the floor. When we couldn't find them earlier. <laughs> yeah. Just that's how I hate when that happens. Right, I see a dollar twenty-five right now. All right. <laughs> we could have used that. But there's two right there as well. What the shit? Yeah, I told you. I there's two or more right there. Man, my room's such a mess. That's fine. It's not as bad as Cayman's. No, I mean <laughs> it was musty. <laughs> we call him out on that. Yeah. Cayman, clean your room. Yeah, clean your fucking room. <laughs> Make it smell I, good. Get a candle. I had a... Uh, I want to say it was like three weeks ago now. Yeah. I had helped clean his room 
Oh, yeah. Completely. Yeah. And that new desk he has for his PC, I moved that there with Julian. Right. I had him help me, but I cleaned up his room for him, and I fucking... Yeah, he just lets it go. Yeah, he's gone now. <laughs> it was really shit. Good. We're calling him out live, or not live, yeah. but we're calling him out. We're calling you out, Cannon. Clean the room. <laughs> um... That was a lot of shit. My ears. gonna be so loud in the mic. <laughs> uh, James, bass boost that. <laughs> Don't make it extra loud. Well, oh, dude, I was so scared. I've been doing really good on my Twitch, my live streams and stuff. Yeah, I've seen the right. reviews going up and up. Exactly. I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm actually like, I last my last PC I had. Was out in the living room because I didn't have my own room at the time. Right. I had to have it set up in the living room so I couldn't do all the stuff I wanted to do. That was when you still lived in Slides, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I know. I play on that PC. Yeah, you did. You played Overwatch for the first time on the. In Fortnite. Yeah, in Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> but, um. No, I, it was nice, but I, I had downloaded Twitch and I downloaded a bunch of, like, streaming softwares, but I never got the chance to use them. Right. Because, um. It, it was fucking. It was in my living room. I didn't have a chance to actually record. Yeah. And on top of that, this headset right here, this was the mic I would have been using. That, I thought that looked familiar. Right, I've had this since then. But now I have the opportunity to. I have my own room, I have my own crap I can actually set up here. Yeah, and your room's actually set up here. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not going to mention the fact it's a garage. Right. James, bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it makes it better, especially the curb right there. Yeah, that curb really sets it. The my <laughs> It doesn't reach the curb. <laughs> I, I tried. <laughs> Yeah, the curb really sets the mood, you know? <laughs> in case I want to do awesome tricks on my skateboard. Your curb stomps me. Yeah, it's my torturing room. <laughs> nah, it, I have my own thing now, so I've been trying to do what I can with it. I started live streaming, I got a sponsor, I got my views up, I'm about to reach affiliate. Like, things are going really well for me now, and I'm happy with that, so. We had to stream Overwatch sometime. I know, the problem is my stream is so slow. When it comes to damn, I just need a better graphics card again. But yeah, I'll, but I'll get that soon. I'm getting a job with your interview and grip, and whatever. But like, I'm really happy with this. And but the thing that sucks is, while all this is happening, all it's finally going so well for me, and I'm getting my uh, my streaming good. I'm even good yeah. on Twitch. I started a podcast. It, which we're doing now, obviously. Yeah. And I've been uploading on my YouTube again. I have an editor now. I'm actually reaching affiliate. You're actually applying. I, ha I had two people try and donate to me on Twitch so far. And I'm not even affiliate yet. So that's really exciting. Like, I'm actually yeah. doing good for once. And then all of a sudden, my PC says... <laughs> and, and it just stops working? It stopped working. And you and called it, me the day it happened. Yeah, and I was so scared. You know, I was really too. nervous. Yeah, I was not happy. And then worked on it for two days. Finally got it working. Thankfully. Exactly. It saved you a lot of money. And then on the day, um, I fixed it. I'm like, crap. I just realized tomorrow I'm gonna, gonna be gone for well over three days. And so, because you're going camping, exactly. I was go I had been going camping that uh, following day, so I'm like, well, now I gotta get a stream in. And I streamed uh, for the first time after fixing my uh, PC. Yeah. And then did amazing on that stream. I got two people that asking. I was there to, in that stream. Yeah, yeah. I had two people asking to donate. I had people enjoying the stream and actually watching. I had a very interactive uh, chat. chat. Exactly. It was super good. So I'm really fucking happy. Never sent too many chats, but I'm there. Right, right. Because mainly I put you on and play video games. Yeah, you, you, you put me on the TV so you can't really chat, but I, I know you're there because I can see it pop up. Yeah. Mm. I'm wondering something I found out when I was fixing my PC up. See how my fan in there is rainbow when it's spinning? Yeah. It wasn't always like that. Before it was only red when it was spinning. While I was fixing my PC, I looked in the back. There's like a button or something? Yeah, there's a little tiny, tiny square. And I always thought that was a hard reset button. Right. So I, I, usually they're very small. Exactly. Usually it's a small square button and you push it and it's a reset button. Or it's a, I can't remember what it's called, but it resets your PC like entirely. Yeah. And then I look at the back of it and I'm, my, my PC had been busted. I turn it on and it wouldn't work. And so I'm like, all right, let's try and 
push that button for right. the first time. Pushing the color change, like, oh shit, something happened, something happened. Yep. And, like, and then it goes like this for like another 10 minutes. I'm like, something's supposed to happen. I push again, color change again. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I look at, <laughs> look at the bottom and it says... Uh, RGB control. <laughs> what the you shit? You didn't look at the bottom before? Yeah, I never looked at it. I, I just assumed, because it was under the square. Right. And it, it, when it's on the floor, when I'm like fixing it and putting it and connecting it up and all that, it's under the square and I'm like, looking at it from the top. So I have to like look way under to even notice that. No. And then I keep pushing it, I'm looking at all the colors. There's different colors, there's different color patterns, different color like uh, changing modes and shit. Yeah, very bright and, lights in here, by the way. Yeah, I know. And it's I can have a second one on. It's a dim light though, so if I turn this on off, the light off, and I have another one, and it makes the light dim. So it's like less bright, but the one wouldn't be picked up on camera. Right, it'd right. be too dark on camera. That's why it's like this. Otherwise, I'd have it off right now. Or which is on. fine. It's doable. Yeah, it works. It's just it looks brighter on camera than it is in real life. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It makes me look super white. You tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, you get it. I went, so, I'm sure I've told you already, but when I went camping, yeah, the bugs there are different fucking breeds. Yeah, I can dude. see the bug bites from here. They're mutated bugs or some <laughs> shit, man. Like, these are bugs from fucking Fallout. And they've been preparing for you. Exactly. This, you can't see on the pit. Yeah, I thought you can. Uh, right. Oh. Right. right. Here's a little tiny brown spot you can see, but uh, there's a scab here that was caused by a bug bite. Bug bites aren't supposed to cause fucking scabs. <laughs> And then there's a whole bunch of my arm's still itchy from the it. Bugs been working out, like, bro. For real, I don't know what it is, man. Just a scab here from it. There's a bunch of bumps right here because of the bug bites. They were everywhere, man. They were like a legit different breed. Now I'm itchy all of a sudden. Shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I promise I'm not a coke addict. It's just <laughs> these fucking bugs, man. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, I swear. This is my first time going camping at that spot. So. Where did you go? Uh, Loon Lake. Have you Loon been? Lake. Uh, oh yeah, yeah it, was, it was cool there. Uh, to there, the my girlfriend's stepdad. Who I had I was going camping with her family. Her, yeah, obviously. Um, her stepdad owns a boat, so we went on the boat, and then right. uh, me and Carly went tubing, and then she got scared because apparently she was told that it hurts when you fall off. I mean, it's water. Right. However fast you're going, is however fast you're going to smack that water. Exactly. And you know, typically it would hurt. And then right. she got scared. And it's a two person float, right? Right. So you but, were on it alone. Exactly. And because they, they thought everyone else was super scared of it. And then I was like the man of the hour on the boat because <laughs> I was the only one like willing to go on it alone. He's the man and on it's fire. A, exactly. And it's a two person one. So I had to straddle myself in the middle of a two seater thing. <laughs> Try to hold on to exactly. Each I wasn't side. even. I was even sitting in the seats. I was sitting in the middle where it shoots up, and it's not in a seat, so I can straddle <laughs> onto both sides and whatever. I bet it was fun though. It was super fun, and I was the first person to catch really high air and oh, slam yeah. into the water. Yeah, those things get pretty far up, there, yeah. especially if you get up, you get going. Uh, I I told him I'm not a scared. Jesus Christ! Somebody just fell. My mic picked that up. That was. Did it? Yeah, my family's okay. Um, it was like bass boosted in real life. Yeah, what the hell was that? <laughs> Anyways, um, no, and then I got in the air, I slapped the water, and I was so scared because I felt the impact of it, and it hit me right in my like lower left stomach. I'm like, oh, shit, it's gonna hurt, and then yeah. all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, I'm fine, <laughs> it's okay, but. When I landed, the fuck it, it hit me like all the pressure went in my nuts. I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> shit, that really fucking hurt, but I can't say that. <laughs> so, whatever, that was cool. I was the man of an hour for it. Yeah, I had to play it off cool because your girlfriend was there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly immediately exactly after, they're like, you feel. like, are you sure you're okay? Whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. They're like, then you can get back on, right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. And Just then, painfully waddle your ass over there. Yeah, yeah, I swam over to the float. I got on the float and they kept going. I'm like, oh, shit. It was really fun, though, honestly. Oh, like that. But you're hating life on that swim over to that float, though. <laughs> yeah. The cool thing was, when I fucking had landed in the fucking water doing a split, <laughs> um, it only hurt for a little bit. It wasn't even like a sharp pain. It was like a dampening pain. Like, right. It was really weird, but it, it didn't really hurt super bad. It was just, it was super uncomfortable, basically. That's, all, that's what I'm trying to say. But it wasn't that bad. It was just uncomfortable. It was cool. I felt like the man of the hour for it. And it was like, you're awesome. And 
Radical. Yeah, radical. They said that. Uh, her parents say that. The, her, uh, I think it was her uh, aunt. But, uh, <laughs> that makes sense. She, she's like, you're totally rad. That dude. sounds like something an aunt would say. Yeah, and she's like, the way you're shifting your weights over the waves, <laughs> and I'm like, like, and the way you're moving your body to match the wave. You're just of thinking the water. yourself. I was just trying to stay on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm just trying to hold on to the damn thing. <laughs> And she's like, you were totally radical, man. I'm like, <laughs> that's definitely I'm, an auntie thing to say. Her, her family's white. And so, <laughs> thank I'm, you, I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> and I was raised in a, a native family. No, we all So, exa- we're white, but she's. Even if I don't look like it. Right, exactly. But we're. We look white, but I assure you, we're not. We're native. Yeah. And, uh, the R slang is nothing like white people slang at all. If you hear. If you are yourself are native or you uh, know anyone that's native, you know for a fact we talk way differently than a white person. Oh, yeah. But if you don't know that, it's you, you listen to look up native people talking. <laughs> just look it up. I don't yeah. care if it's in your search history forever. It's look it up. Exactly. It's really, it's really different. It's really interesting. Did, they, did you know uh, native people have accents? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know this until just recently. Yeah, until when... people started making fun of me. Exactly! Yeah. I didn't know it until people called me out for it, like, I want to say, like, six months ago. When I was in Taft, they're like, why do you talk like that? I'm like, like, what? They're like, with that, like, accent you have. What, kind of, what accent is that? I'm like, I didn't know I had an accent. Right, yeah. It was really you weird. You don't notice it. Yeah, It just exactly. creeps up on you until somebody points it out. Yeah, and I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know... Many people have an accent. And now I'm, it's not a bad accent. Either. It's not. It's just unheard it's just of. They have an accent. Exactly. That I mean, was weird. I didn't know that. I thought I didn't have an accent, so I thought it was the coolest thing when people had accents like that. Right. Australian accents. Yeah, or, we don't notice the accent because it's I mean, just how we, we talk. No, right. It's how we've been raised. It's exactly. That's how most people see things, anyways. It's like, oh wow, this is a uh, really fucking cool accent because it's so strong. It's so heavy, right? They're like right. British and fucking. Irish accents and Australian accents are super heavy. They're really easy to notice because it's different, like by heavily different. Ours is just English, but with a different tone in every single thing we say, and it's really hard to pick up on. Yeah, I have Irish on my side. Yeah, exactly. If you can tell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Just a little bit. It's random. I'll have random. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's like linked to anything or like a, just like a, a sign of anything, but I noticed. Um, I, I, I'll do a really, really good, unintentionally, by the way, but when I'm, when I'm talking Irish accent. and I'm rambling, not even just Irish, just any accent at all, it's super random, and it will be any accent at all, but I'll just randomly say one thing super randomly, like one, and it's super perfect, it's like exactly right. accurate to the accent itself. It's like your ancestors are possessing you Right, except second. sometimes it's a, a, a thing, a race I'm not related to, like Australian. Right. I said no when it came out, I was like, nar or something like that. <laughs> And it was really, really heavy. It proceeds to butcher an Australian right, accent. Right, exactly. It was super... I can't do an Australian accent. I don't know how, but this time I did, and someone called me out, and I'm like, I had no idea how I did that. I right. did it. it was weird. I was playing CSGO. I used to all the time because I didn't like my native accent. <laughs> right. I remember it. I remember it, yeah. I, I remember it. It was like... It went on for a long time like that, too. Yeah. yeah. But, um... No, I, sometimes it'll be. I have a really strong Mexican accent. Yeah. <laughs> I have a really strong Spanish accent, like super heavy, and they'll kick in at me. Well, well. <laughs> that burp tasted good. <laughs> Don't say that. It was really weird, but that burp actually tasted good because it's of because of this sponsored drink we're drinking. Exactly. Drink. Use cup. <laughs> use use W, and your burp will taste good. What's the code again? Uh, Octa- Don't let me know. Let them know. Of course. <laughs> the code. How do, we, how do we transition to that? Hold on. <laughs> just, just go for it. Right. Use code T, baby. All capital T, all lowercase baby. No spaces. At checkout, and you'll get 10% off your order. It'll make your ba- uh, burps t- taste good. So. Who doesn't want 10% off their order? And who doesn't want your burps to taste good? Exactly. You can burp in your girlfriend's mouth, and she won't mind. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that is not tested. Don't. Uh, 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 if, yeah, that's. <laughs> don't burp into your I mean, girlfriend's mouth. If you're mouth, faster than her, you can try it, but. <laughs> If you're faster than your girlfriend, you can tackle her and just hold her down and burp in her mouth. We are not advising <laughs> you, you tackle your girlfriend and burp in her mouth. That's not what we're saying. We're not condone this activity is what you say. We're giving very specific examples. <laughs> These have not been tested. I assure you I have not burped in my girl. <laughs> Thinks about it? Yeah, I have not burped in my girlfriend's mouth, I don't think. Me neither, thankfully. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me really think you have, or came close to it at least. 
I thought I might have, but I guess I didn't. Mmm. You have interlocked toes. Which is like mm, a like stage. I, you for... would have interlocked toes with her. Yeah. We, we, that like, just sounds like something you guys would do. The thing is, interlocking toes is like weird. A stage even further than marriage. If you, <laughs> Chances are, if you've interlocked toes, you're already married. <laughs> That's just the way it is. <laughs> I, it's just... no, both me and my girlfriend are weird about feet. When you say weird, like... I don't like my feet touched. She don't like her feet touched. Give me a... <laughs> don't even. <laughs> so I keep my socks on 24-7. Me and my girlfriend will make jokes all the time about feet. So much to the point where we're sending each other like bare naked feet pictures, but we both know we hate feet. <laughs> so it's, I we, hate it. <laughs> we do this all the time. I find feet disgusting. Yeah, personally. I don't. But it's because you're walking around on them all the time and all, all day long. They're in shoes and it's like. Because I notice them. <laughs> right, and that and they're in shoes all day long, right. and it's building up in sweat. Sweaty, it's yeah. musty. It's muggy. And looks like my shoes. <laughs> Coconut Mall just started playing. I remember adding this to my playlist. What the fuck? Yeah, I just got Coconut Mall! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I did spill Dubby on my shoes earlier and in my socks. <coughs> I did not change my socks either. They, I can, yeah, I can feel it. We were playing very competitive Mario Kart when it happened, yeah. so I had the advantage. Um, yeah, we don't talk about the Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah, Mario Kart. Or the Smash Bros. Oh, yeah, or the Smash Ninja Storm. Anything. <laughs> you don't talk about us playing games, you'll have to wait till we actually play it again. We need to play Apex again on my stream one day soon. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm free whenever. I know. That's why I'm mad at myself for not fucking doing that sooner. Um... Cause I don't play Apex if I don't want to I just realized my editor's in fucking Europe right now. Europe? Yeah, it's for like a class school thing that he's uh, doing for travel, but... Uh, class trip or whatever? Yeah, except for he's not in class. It's like a... Summer field trip. So this won't be out for a little bit. Yeah, this will be stuck for a bit. Uh, what's the date today? It's July 24th. Okay, so this, that's when this is being uh, recorded. And we're July recording 25th. this at 1.50 in the morning. And we're recording this at 2 in the morning, so... <laughs> How's that for you guys? Um, yeah, as you can see, we're both kind of jittery because this does have a good kick to it. It's really good. It's, it's not jittery, even. it's just like we're awake. Right, we're wide awake, which is a good thing because we're recording. We're this is my work right now. So until yeah, I go to my interview and I get told that I've been hired where I'm work uh, applying for. I work. This is my job. Like this and Twitch did like uh, social media entertainment is my current job right now. Yeah, I plan on waiting till I'm off probation to get a job we don't really talk about so. yeah we don't talk about that we won't go into it but you kind of can't be on that and get a job at the same time yeah, it's kind of hard right so it's smart to wait for that but man no, no. we can't talk about i that. can't think about the difference between parole and probation I don't know. It's not because it's one thing I just never actually knew. <laughs> I, I didn't either. I just always mix them up. I, I mix them up, but I didn't know the difference. Yeah, we can't I, I'd really say talk. one thinking the other, but... We can't really talk about what happened. Yeah, I didn't think you could. Uh, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't bring it up. because There'll be an update when I'm off. You know, with this. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> hmm. James, you can choose. Use your better judgment to choose if that stays or leaves right. the... Podcast. It doesn't matter to either of us. Fun fact, God, we should have prepared for this more. <laughs> yeah, because I keep running yeah, out of Yeah, we kind of spent all our preparing time playing Mario Kart. Yeah, we could prepare it, but we didn't. Yeah, we could <laughs> we play we had games. definitely had the chance. Right. Um, but Mario. I have a fun fact. What's that? My editor, I've known him since the fourth grade. And we were uh, best friends even all the way then. Yeah, you've talked about him quite a few times. Yeah, I brought him He up. seems cool. He's a really cool dude. Really awesome kid, man. I don't know why I said kid, but... <laughs> He's only like a year old, younger than me, but um, like me, yeah, absolutely awesome guy. He's really funny. He's really cool, really laid back. He's really intelligent, man. Like honestly, like, he's a badass without even meaning to, and he doesn't see himself as the such because the shit. Well, nobody does. If right. you do, you're a douche. <laughs> I have some Leads back to do. in douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, but like. 
if it weren't for him, I would not be in the grade I'm in because I, I'm i really stupid and he's a fucking really smart dude. He helped me with my math and shit, he helped me with my English. Yeah, I just used to cheat off you all the time. Yeah, because... Fine enough. Or anybody, really. James taught me math, and then I cheated, I cheated off, off him. Man. I cheated off him, and then now you're cheating off me. It's like a legacy now. But like, that dude is a really awesome guy. I, I'll have to meet him. Yeah, I have to introduce you. We play Apex or something. I've introduced him to... I have fucking pubic hair in my fucking... <laughs> uh, nah, I've introduced him to Cayman a long, long time ago. Not any time recently. Yeah, no, he was know. scared. Kevin? <laughs> no, James. Oh. Um, Kevin is not uh, somebody to be afraid of. Yeah, I don't think like he was actually um, scared, but he was pretending to be or something. He, no, I think he's he was just nervous. Just like, uh, it's like he's not very social. Like he's a really cool person. Right, none of us are. Right, but everyone like the thing with him is everybody likes him. He's a really awesome guy. He's very um. Uh, he has a really high charisma. He's very charismatic. Mm -hmm. Moms love him. He's almost, I think Milfs. he's a straight-A student. Milfs fucking <laughs> fuck him. That's... You can keep that in, by the way. You can choose to keep that is proven. That is a proven fact. <laughs> mm. James, here's your stamp of approval. You fuck! <laughs> Milfs. Milfs. <laughs> yeah, James is an awesome guy. You, you'll like him. Cause he's, this is completely off topic, but we recently got into an old game we used to play all the time. You did? Yeah, today. We're playing it on the couch. <gasps> oh, yeah, dude! I remember that <laughs> The shit. realization on your face was priceless. Yeah, I was like, what games do we play on the couch and then... It's a mobile yeah, game. Yeah, it's a mobile game. Uh, it's, it's just Death Run, but... Death yeah, I'm sure you know it's Gmod Death Run. It's just that on mobile, but... Yeah. We used to play that all the time as kids, and we do... It was so fun, man. We were such shit talkers. <laughs> yeah, we talked all the shit. We'd be like talking trick shots with our plays and stuff. And it is funny because we were good at that game too. Yeah, we were good. It we was easy. Write, we had to write the shit talk. We had to right. write. Right. Like it was so fun, man. Now we got it back. It's, it's dead now. Full of hacking. Yeah, so it's it dead. There was like four or five servers up. You, you can check the servers, and when they're up, it tells you a live player count in the U.S. right now. There were six players. Yeah, yeah. twenty. I get, I think it peaked at twenty. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's a sad thing. In Europe was about the same. Yeah, Europe was like, I think it had a little more like twenty one, but yeah, it was around there. That was man. I still did we played that in fucking old house. Well, not the one in um by the trailer parks in Celeste, but the one by the wreck. Yeah, we were playing that. Right, there. From Julian's right, right. Um. Oh yeah, in case you guys didn't know, Taven, the uh, Julian from my last uh, podcast episode. He is also good friends with Julian. Yeah. And we're all me, yeah, Julian, fuck that guy. and him. <laughs> we all fuck that. Wait. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's what I said. Um, <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> moving on. No, we. Just um, cut away from that. We're all like lifelong friends. We've all known each other since childhood, so it's a cool thing. I, You guys need to get computers so that we can have Discord calls and yeah, have I'm poor, more regular pod. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking about how we can't afford fucking food. Yeah, I need to get a job first. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm gonna drop soon. I can help you out, man. Yeah. But. Shouldn't start selling organs. <laughs> <laughs> if you. If you become an organ donor and donate. Oh, I'm not like, gonna donate to him. Well, right, but if I'm you just become an them. organ donor and then, like. No, not donate, my, not donate like. Donate like 20 organs. <laughs> that. All, like, the same it's like time. like 30 livers. Right, like, donate like. 20 kidneys. Are you a hero or are you a, <laughs> a villain? Right. People are like, well, he's... well, you know what? Just take the donation. <laughs> exactly. Man. That's why you gotta do it anonymously. Exactly. Anonymous donations. <laughs> we'll, just go under we'll a fake name. <laughs> we'll get a bag of kidneys and just toss it off. <laughs> we'll, we'll still have cars just from speed off. Uh, we'll still shop a car from Walmart and just put them all in there. Push it. Push it. The, <laughs> push push it, it at the run. hospital. <laughs> funny um the day before julian had spent the night at my house yeah uh i had spent the night at uh we spent the night together right we were walking up the hill and uh we seen a cop and he's like uh hey officer <laughs> we we're both like hey officer you got any drugs on you <laughs> he's like uh <laughs> no and i'm like we're like 
What about stickers? He's like, I got bracelets. <laughs> and then, uh... Is that the bracelet right there? Yes, I was just about to grab that. Here's the bracelet. It's a green one. And it says, uh... These Academy are all true stories. Office. Huh? It said these are all true stories. Yes, all... Everything we... Well, not everything we tell them. <laughs> Majority of what we tell we'll is tell you true. Joking. Yeah, it, well, it'll be obvious when we're joking. Like... We're not gonna start selling kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> Man, but, mm, I have to squash this shit out, bro. I still have a fair amount left. That's it. Me that's and good. Julian, um, we both uh, uploaded our podcast and we rewatched it, not on YouTube, but on, um, in the actual video player. Just to see if it's watchable and see if it's entertaining. Right. We were laughing <laughs> throughout the entire <laughs> thing, people listening to it, because we realized this is actually listenable, you know? Right. People, if you like our. The late nights we used to talk about this in elementary school. Right, dude. Sitting in the field at night. I was even in. El- that was middle school. Yeah. I remember that. Sh- that was sixth and seventh. Yeah. Fuck, that was so cool. I, I missed honestly, that I shit. didn't think we would actually do it, but here we are. Yeah. The, the f- context. Um, where we lived at the time, there would, we had a really huge backyard and a little porch on it. It was a field. Right, it was a field. And, um, I think the time was, it started at like 9, 10 p.m. Uh, we got some blankets out in the middle of that field, laid them down, grabbed some pillows and shit. And just chilled out? Me and him, me and him, we just laid down, chilled out, and fucking just talked and talked and talked. And that went from 10 p.m. to, I think, 7 or 8 a.m. Yeah. It lasted a long fucking time. The sun was always out when we went inside. Right. And fucking, we just started chilling, talking, and seeing what's going on with each other. Like, that's the fucking true friend bit. That's why we've been to fucking, we've been to home and back. Dude. Yeah. Me, you, and Kevin. And Julian, man. That was cool shit. We were fucking, we were assholes. <laughs> yeah, but we were, we are the cool ones. <laughs> <laughs> At least we, what we think. We were fun assholes. Yeah. Oh, shit. I remember climbing on top of the daycare. <laughs> that was all they get off. That was in elementary. We were sneaking up on top of the daycare roof, and then I got off just up. before they came out and just booked I, it. Yeah, I left I was, you guys behind. Yeah, you, you were up. I remember you were on top, and then you I got outside. Them. They didn't even know I was up there. You tried grabbing our attention, but me and Kim were being dumbasses, and then you're like, Julian running. was there too. Yeah, Julian was there too. And then you jumped off and booked it. We seen you jump off and run, and then we got yelled at, we jumped off and followed, it was fun. We got in a lot of trouble at no We used sure. to get in trouble all the time, but it was never real trouble. Right, it wasn't we used to go ding dong bitching all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, all the time. <laughs> oh god, we got threatened with a fucking, by a dude. A couple guns. Yeah, a couple. Cause we, <laughs> we didn't care, we still did it. We did it to the same person like six times. <laughs> it's cause we were ballsy little fuckers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We didn't care. Nearly ball list by the fucking people with the guns. But. Right. Well, shit was. I mean, it's kind of sad they pulled guns on little little kids. Little kid, dumb well, bitches. <laughs> they didn't know we were kids. Funny. It's because we were in the res. Dude, that was res shit. That was old res shit. Now red shit is nothing. I don't play Apex. Yeah. <laughs> I don't play Fortnite. <laughs> fucking Dean. Fuck man. Dean's a screw. Up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Start oh. insulting people we know. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Julian. <laughs> fuck you, Kevin. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, fuck you all. Fuck you, Taven. <laughs> nah. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna say it. Big ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you can tell your friends. You just insult each other and then laugh. <laughs> then we just go right back to normal after. Yeah, that's what friends do. Especially when we play Mario Kart. Awesome. You Mario Kart will be screaming and then we'll laugh and they'll yeah. be like And then just dead silence because we start to focus. <laughs> then one of us will get hit with a red shell. And then it's <laughs> yeah, or, or like three or four. Or maybe a blue shell for me. Cause I wasn't first. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We really should have prepared for that. Uh, that's not. That's not gonna be bad. How long are we in? That's true thoughts. Yes. How have we made it then? Forty-five minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. We're still keeping a good active conversation. It's right. not stopping. So, good shit. Man. I miss the res. I did too. The old the res, not the new res. Yeah, new res ass, but you get in trouble for anything. <sighs> Man, our spot up at the fucking powwow. 
they they took it. They put a bench over there, and um. You serious? Yeah, we um, found out. Me and Julian were walking around up there. We were gonna go up there and chill for a bit. Because yeah, in case you guys don't know, it was a spot above that one room. Yeah, it was yeah. it was up in the woods, and then there's a little big open area surrounded yeah, by trees. We cut our little trail back there. Yeah, and they found it. We cut a trail back there, and then. It's a big, huge drop that leads to a... Oh, yeah, it's a massive drop. Yeah, it leads to a road where a bunch of cars would go by, and you can watch the cars swerve. And in the distance was a giant fucking open field. It was, it was really a beautiful nice. view. Exactly, it was awesome. And I was there's a bench there. Yeah, so me and Julian were walking up through there. When we get over there, and there was a bunch of trash on the floor and fucking um, a plastic bench that the uh, I people mean. have brought up there to sit down and watch. And me and him got super mad... So we carved our initials in there. Our, I don't remember what we carved in there. Um, Allegedly carved our initials. In there. Right. I don't think it was our initials, but uh, we're we're, we're <laughs> I'm basically confessing a crime we committed. But out of anger. Allegedly confessing. Uh, out of we, anger, you we need to learn how to use that word. Right. We allegedly <laughs> are confessing right now. Just me. I've we're, learned by now. We're we're confessing in game. <laughs> um, <laughs> <that> <laughs> we are yeah, this is all in game. This is all um role play. Yeah. Uh, we're confessing it's for that. We're um, it's called Little Bastards. Yeah, it's our skit. Uh, in our skit, we are confessing that we, we this bench that made us super angry, we tipped it over and threw it in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. And then we booked it because we were super upset at the fact that our spot that we claimed, right. we made sure it was clean, we, we cleared it. it out. We we had to bring machetes up there and fucking cut down the trail. We have to form that entire fucking trail. We we. Opened it. We like uh, widened out that area so we have a spot where we can set like blankets up or uh, chair down and watch the view yeah. and just talk or whatever. Yeah, found it in my pocket. I just have a uh, screw in here. <laughs> wow. This is what you do with my gifts. You call that a gift? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I can. Reach around down here and I can find one of those. They're not. You're right, I won't. <laughs> Look, my chair fall Your apart. chair's gonna fall apart. <sighs> I'm gonna cut this. away and you're in a different chair. Oh, you didn't know this thing existed. Yeah, I can do that too. No, he's just lazy. We are lazy. <laughs> We're lazy hard workers. I'm taking the shit off. Getting comfortable. Fortnite? No. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you really contemplated that. I had to decide, because I used to like Fortnite, and I think this thing was so fun, and then they fucking ruined it. Yeah. You guys remember when Fortnite was actually fun? Forever ago? Yeah. Back in like season 5, season 6, when everybody was still bad like us. Yeah. We actually had a fighting chance. Yeah, now everybody's just nerds. I actually played it for the first time in like four months. I remember. The other day I won first I, game on. I was, like, I I was there the day after that happened, yeah. Man. What are some other alleged stories we could tell? <laughs> alleged stories? <laughs> there's so many. We've known each other since birth. Like, <laughs> there's too many to just think of one off the top of our heads. Uh, Man, um, all right, middle school. Middle let's school. not talk about middle school. Middle school let's was not... a time. <laughs> Remember Mr. Jules's class? Uh, I almost, Art class? I was very sexist in that class. <laughs> Allegedly, I yeah. was sexist. Um, not actually sexist, I just made really sexist jokes. Brandon used to chase us around the class all the time. Yeah, there's pictures of her fucking choking me out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, she sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, I have those pictures somewhere. No, she posted them on Instagram. She posted on her Instagram, yeah. I have pictures of me on Instagram. I wish she wouldn't post them, but she did. Yeah, we can't take him down either. <laughs> yeah, just because it's her account. Yeah. There's so much stuff that happened in school. I miss it, but I also hated a lot of it. So. I missed middle school. I do have to get that shit back. I, I wasn't even there for most of the year this year, but yeah. we don't talk about that. <laughs> well, now you're the bad guest. I know. <laughs> so, uh, favorite game in five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. I don't even Zelda. play this game, but the first game that popped to mind was FNAF. 
<laughs> Dude, that's a fucking good game, okay? I haven't played that game in years. I don't know so, why that was the first one that popped to mind. I know, like, realistically, that game is fucking, like, super stupid now and cheesy, but, like, growing know, up, that back was... Back then, that game used to scare the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah, and it was so cool to me, the fucking lore behind it. And it mm. was, like, I used to watch all the fucking fan animation yeah. and stuff. I'm sure everyone else did as a oh, yeah. if you're my age. But, Everybody did. Right, that people was, still do. Yeah, I bet people still do. And, um... Man, I was super into that game. The real favorite game, the one I can think of off the top of my head, Ghost of Tsushima. Honestly, I don't blame. That was such a cool game. I was I obsessing over that game. For I'm so happy I bought that game on disc. I really fucking like. I really like how they created new controls for the fucking. Yeah, the controls the, were amazing on that game. Yeah, they used the actual t trackpad for once. And the story was them. great. Yeah, it was super cool, man. Um. It I looked like a painting. Right. It was amazing graphics. The I graphics took so many pictures insane. on that game. I, I made them, yeah, I remember that. Shit. I have them on a little flash drive that I have somewhere. Yeah. Mine's um I will find them when I'm old and gray. Off the top of my head, mm. I think. I, I uh, one of my favorite games was Zelda. Right. Any of the Zeldas really, uh, but like my top are Breath of the Wild uh, or Twilight Princess. Yeah, because they're just it was so cool to me growing up. And it was a childhood game. The puzzles were fun. They had a really cool combat. The story was fun. They easy to get into. You know what was a good story game? What? Far Cry Five. I actually never played with Far Joseph Cry 5. Seed. Wasn't that the and one all where of the seeds? Yeah, yeah. There were uh, different the, territories. It wasn't it like the super fucking weird uh, was, religion? Yeah, yeah. I don't know that the one. fucked up religion. Yeah, they're called like Pakis or something. That reminds me of the. Um, or, I can't remember what they're called. It reminds me of Outlast Two. Outlast 2 was like, it was fucking dark, man. It yeah. was really grotesque, especially for its time. And the graphics it had for its time was fucking way ahead of anything oh, yeah. else. So it was, it was dark. You ever man. go back on old games you used to think looked so realistic and just compared to I, now, they're just potato games? Yeah, I did that to uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Not the one where you like fight people or whatever, like side by side, like most <laughs> traditional right. Mortal Kombat. But you actually ran around. It was a... It was an open world. Right, right, it was an open world game. Which, in case you didn't know, Mortal Kombat has that in Armageddon. Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat Armageddon and uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Armageddon wasn't an open world game, but they had a conquest mode that you could Yeah, I remember that. Fun. Yeah, that was open world, and I used to do a lot of shit with that, and that was Dude, really fucking fun. The first game I ever, video game I ever played was on a PS Vita, way fucking way back then. No one knows what a PS Vita is. It was now, God man. of War. Dude, all the God of War games are so good, but I remember playing down the Vita too. I played those for hours. The first thing I so played fun. on the Vita was uh, Killzone. And I had a Family Guy game on the PS Vita too. Dude, I remember you the remember Family that Guy game? game. I played it with you, yeah. yeah. I remember that shit. That was, that was it. We weren't even elementary at the time yet. Yeah, man. we should not have been playing games like that. <laughs> Dude, we were just barely in elementary. We were like, what, second grade, third grade? Just like the movies we used to watch. We should not have been allowed to watch those movies. That's an older joke. Like, I remember one that. time in elementary school, we stayed up all night watching all of the Saw movies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you shit. You remember that? Man, I was traumatized for a bit because I thought it was real. I thought there was actually going to be a fucking pig person coming out of our closet and taking me to a... That was it. such a fun night, though. That was cool. Because we had bunk beds and we were on the top we bunk. We were on the top bunk, I remember. It was pitch dark in the room. I remember the one time we were all laying down on the bed. It was me, my brother, you, Tai, and Cayman. And the light just randomly turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that too. And everybody freaked out. I think Tai ran out of the room, didn't Tai he? did, yeah. He was like, fuck this, I'm out. He fucked it. And we had somebody tap on our window late at night one time too. Like, like not tap, but like bang on the window and then just run. Right. Was that fucking? It was the back window too. They got in the backyard. Yeah. It was so scary. <laughs> oh yeah. But we were into that stuff. We we're kids. Too, still so into that stuff. We yeah. We never stopped like or not liking scary things. We still watch scary all the time. You know what movie scarred me as a kid? Hmm. The Hellraiser. With Penn. Hellraiser head. screwed me up. Yeah. I remember that scene he took like some like saw thing and he put it in some guy's mouth. He oh, closed it. Uh, that scene scared the hell out of me. The show that tra two sh uh, horror movies that traumatized me as a kid was um, one, The Shining. That was a good one. Uh, the only reason that traumatized me, I was good throughout the entire fucking movie. The old lady. Uh huh. And the fucking bathtub that scared me to half to death. I actually panicked a little. And we were watching on a VHS. Oh yeah. So and, it was um, even scarier. Because mm -hmm, of the fucking low quality. But, um, that and fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre. 
I still watch this one. Yeah, that one fucked me up because when he uh, had the girl like attached to the hook and fucking yep. cut open her stomach. The meat hook, yeah. Yeah, that one screwed me up too. Because that one had a different kind of grotesque to it. it was Those ones got kind of down and dirty. Yeah, it fucked me. I remember walking into Grandma Sue's room one day. <laughs> Grandma Sue used to put in. on all of the horror movies, and she was scared all the fucked half to up death. ones. Yeah, it was but, hilarious. I loved watching horror movies with her. Yeah, I walked in there, and um, she was watching the Texas Chainsaws. I don't remember which one, but it was the scene where uh, they got all the uh, different body parts, like fucking eyeballs, livers, and yeah. fucking all this other shit from a uh, human. And they blended it up and tried funneling it into that girl's mouth. Yeah. I walked in during that and I was fucking disgusted. I had a headache after that. I was nauseous. Yeah. It was awful, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what screwed us up as a kid. <laughs> you remember when we went down behind the house and we started throwing shit in the river? And Taylor and his friends got blamed for throwing shit in the river? Yeah, I remember that. And they know, we, yelled at. we still haven't been caught. <laughs> this is Until our now. alleged confession. <laughs> um, yeah, allegedly, we did that. That never actually happened. <laughs> Taylor didn't even get blamed. It was Taylor's friends that got blamed. Yeah, so, no harm, no foul. <laughs> we, that was all fair game, man. <laughs> you can't get mad at us now. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. That was years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, we did so much as a kid. Man. Yeah, we did. We can. A lot of stop. shit we shouldn't have been doing, but it was fun. I think one of my like, most clearest memories was... Uh, when we would always ride our bikes around Celeste, and there was that oh, fucking, yeah. there was the ditch that went the down. The half pipe. Yeah, yeah, we used this little half pipe, and that was so cool. If I went over there the other day, it is not nearly as steep as we thought it. Yeah. Because back then, it was like Mount Everest, bro. It was so it was, scary. If you went down that, you were a badass. <laughs> yeah, you were the coolest kid on the block. And I, I was never... But now it's just nothing. Yeah. I've seen Brad get in, a fucking get in one of those tube things when somebody pushed him down it. And then now we did that no problem. Like, I remember if you go down at the right side, you would fucking um, right, there was be able to part. catch air. Yeah. yeah, and there was a part where if you didn't go down it right, you'd fall back you'd into fall the sticker back. bushes. Uh -huh. I fell into the sticker bushes quite a few times. Mm -hmm. We definitely came home bloody a lot. <laughs> we didn't care. W is such an amazing drink, man. Yeah, use the code guy, right? Yeah. Tea baby. Just go tea baby. Hey, you remember? Yeah, I did. <laughs> man. How far are we in? 58 minutes. Not so, bad. Yeah. We can actually cut it short in just a second, actually, because um, I'm hungry and I want to make ramen. I'm really hungry. Mm hmm. And this mint gum isn't going to hold me off forever. I got it. <laughs> but, All right. Top three favorite Naruto characters. Go. Zabuza, um, Itachi, Madara. Strong picks, strong picks. I had to go with Kakashi, Zabuza, and... Mm. I'm thinking of his name. Shizui. I'm training Itachi for Mifun. Or not Mifun, fuck ah, blah, blah, blah. Water bitch, what's his name? Um... Uh, I know who you're talking about, the guy who collects swords? Yeah, the one who fuck has a sharp teeth. Yeah. Sharp teeth, um... I can't remember his name right now. It's not me, when it's, um... I don't know, but I'm really tempted to Google it, but I shouldn't. I felt that, by the way. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, that's fine, but... I really like Zabuza, he was awesome. He was an absolute badass. Yeah, it was sad when he got killed next to... Well, at least he died next to Haku. That was his name, right? Or her name? Haku, yeah. Wait, no, it was, was, it was, it was, it was him. Yeah. We all thought it was a girl at first. We were like, damn, she's hot. Right, we were like, oh my god, she's cute. It didn't help she dressed in the girl clothes in the show. Yeah. He dressed in the girl was, It was his her... It was his <laughs> fault. Yeah, <laughs> his fault. Yeah, I blame him. I loved his throwing darts, though. You must being hit by those things in real life. I fucking hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, he didn't have throwing darts, he had throwing needles. There, yeah, there were needles that he threw. Needles would scare me to throw because you could easily get those stuck in your hand when you're trying to throw them. It's so easy to fuck up a throw with those. Yeah, and they come, if you don't throw them right, they bounce off the wall and come back at you. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple needles stick into me because I tried to throw them. <laughs> I stuck a couple too. I remember when you tossed fucking razor blades at us. <laughs> you fucking, me and Kane were all chilling in the room. 
Allegedly. Allegedly, you had razor blades, and allegedly, you were tossing out the wall. You got the fun idea. every single one. And then, you got the bright idea that it'd be funny if we tried dodging them. <laughs> Started tossing them at us. And we were fucking well, I knew you weren't going to get hit. I threw them easily dodgeable. Right. Still was a bad idea, but we still did it. <laughs> we did lots of bad ideas, though. That's not the worst one we've had. No, not nearly. Like, uh, let's see. I don't know, mine just went blank for a second. Car dodging? We <laughs> 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 wait in front of the rec center. Yep, and just fucking the book it. Yeah, we'd, we'd run across. Fucking... We scared so many people. I'm surprised we didn't get hit by a car, honestly. Mm, we should have. <laughs> we really should have. That's yeah. funny. I'm still thinking about the ding dong ditching we used to do because we would do it everywhere around Celeste. Mm -hmm. Back then, we didn't have cops patrolling Celeste, but now we do. We're probably notorious for it. Oh, yeah. We were the ding dong bastards. The ding dong dicks. That shit was fun. Um, so much stuff, man. This, this is a fucking memory trip more than anything. Yeah, this is just. Nostalgia. Nostalgia and a video. I think the cool thing about our podcast is that fucking <laughs> we don't have a plan. Two years, four years, eight years from now, we're gonna be able to go back on YouTube and remember that. And remember this. Yeah, and it's gonna be there forever. And, and be nostalgic about what's happening right here. Right, right. That's weird to think that fucking this is gonna be nostalgic. This is technically a nostalgic memory, right? Yeah. Like what we're doing. We're living it. This trip. If we're living the memory, then how do we know that we're not... I'm not in the mindset for you to blow my mind right now. It's, <laughs> that it's, was fucking... I blew it's my own two twenty in the morning. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, we've had a good run. It's, it's one hour. I don't know why I still like we're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, but, um, goodbye, folks. Uh, we've been recording for yeah. an hour and three minutes. We're all pretty tired. We all want food. And yeah. We both want fucking um, sleep and food and whatever else. We have some. I really gotta piss right now. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, just go. Well, we just got 24 hours. So. Yeah. Um, almost. As you guys know, in my in my um last uh, podcast. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, as you guys know from my last podcast. You fucking chugging that shit. <laughs> All right, take three. <laughs> take um, three. I just left for my last podcast. Um, I don't really have an outro for this shit unless Jay hosts the fucking great one, which you don't have to because it's not required. But and it's just we don't really need one anyway. This yeah. is technically our outro, but I mean, we didn't come in to a plan. We don't leave planned. Yeah, we never had. We didn't plan anything. We've never had a plan. <laughs> we never we just planned it to flow. But I didn't have a plan going into Celeste or Toledo with you. I didn't know how we were gonna get back home, but yeah. I did it somehow. But yeah, and I knew I we could get you home. Yeah. So well, this is and now I'm here. Where's your home? Yeah. Now you're my home. Now I gotta figure out how to get home. <laughs> <laughs> you did not plan shit at all. No, I planned it. I already know how to get home. Right. We this time we planned it, but we didn't in the moment. Right. But this is the end of our podcast. We, we plan shit just after we do it. Before I'm trying to end the podcast and you're starting another discussion. I can't end it. Well, I'm editing it. Okay, then you end it. That's what I'm trying to do. And you Let's see it. Up. Okay. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll that was it. podcast. Um, rated five Used stars on... baby uh, when you check out at the W. Used to link. Baby. Another fucking Somewhere. honorable mention to our sponsor, man. W. Is yeah, it is delicious. We just drank a whole bunch of it. We both just drink 24 ounces and they're recommended service. We just drink 24 ounces and this is 2 in the fucking morning. And we're about to drink another 24 ounces. We're idiots. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've, we've always been idiots. Yeah, That's we have. Fun. But it's fine because it we'll played out and it worked out for us again. Yeah. So we got us through this podcast? Yeah, I did. We're going to have to bring all of us on to one of these. It's 2 22. That's yeah, a go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> I was reminding myself. <laughs> Smart, actually. But, um, yeah, that's fucking, that was it. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It yeah. was, it's fun. I mean, you get more people into the podcast and shit, so it's awesome. We can have our guests there. Yeah. So, that was the Goof Troop Podcast, and I yeah, uh, thank you for having me. Of course, anytime. I don't even worry about it. You're my cousin. Yeah.